Okay, and I'll add this in to uh, another important measurement for these cylinder heads or valve stem protrusion. So I'm not going to do a full demonstration on this, but what you're, all you're measuring there is from where the valve seats here to uh, basically where the spring pad is to where the valve's sitting. And that'll be, that'll be a measurement in your manual there. Now what happens is this is this, this off. If this is off, you'll have a, uh, it's kind of hard to demonstrate on the bench here, but basically to check it, you put it on, uh, you put it on the bike and uh, put your, put your push rod in there with your rockers on there and you spin the motor over and you watch where the rocker arm contacts as far as the valve goes. Now, what you're really looking for is where this contact patch is on the valve. So you say the rocker arm's at full lift, full lift. You want to see where it's hitting on, uh, hitting on the valve. If, you, if your stem protrusion's off, you know, it might hit over here and be right on the edge of the valve, or it could be over on this side of the valve. What I look for, and it doesn't matter because this is stock lift, but on some bikes, well, it does matter on this too. You, you, at ha at half, half valve lift, you basically want the rocker arm hitting dead in the center of the valve. So if your, your stem protrusion is too high, the rocker arm is probably going to contact more over here on this side. And at half lift, it, it might be, at full lift, it might be in the middle. Now, there's there's ways around this for you, if the stem protrusion's off, and depending on what cam you have in there and what kind of bike you got, 